Welcome back, and this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Lavender Town oh, Suicidal. Apparently, KF3 has been confirmed, not announced, but confirmed on, sh like, Shack News or, or some, I don't know, some channel somewhere. One of the KF2 devs, one of the Tripwire guys, was talking about how, um... They're working on other games, and KF2 is kind of at the end of its life cycle at this point. Which is cool. Uh, and then he also said that uh, he guarantees there will be a KF3 in the future. He's not announcing anything, but there there will eventually be a KF3. Um, so it could be, you know, maybe, maybe we get the announcement like mid-January for a KF3 to be coming out uh, like next summer. Or, or it could be, you know, like a couple of years away. Who knows? Um, but uh, we, we know that a KF3, a Killing Floor 3, is definitely in the works. Well, perhaps not in the works, but we know that it's definitely coming. Um, and we also know that it's going to have crossplay. So PC, PS4, Xbox, you know, whatever whatever you're on, it's going to have crossplay. They've, they've said that they're working on that for their future games. Um... It's just not very easy to add it into games that weren't built with it initially. Um, but they're planning on building it into their future games since they're kind of building those from the ground up. So it'll be a little bit easier to, to implement that rather than rewriting, you know, all of the, the stuff. So we don't know when it's going to be coming. And it's not really a surprise. But Killing Floor 3, it's, it's happening eventually, <laughs> which is cool. Um... I'm halfway hoping that it doesn't happen until I get to a thousand episodes in KF2. Uh, because if it happens, I'm I'm pivoting to, to KF3 content, right? If it happens, I'm I'm pivoting to KF3. Okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stick with KF2 just because it's my uh, you know personal goal or whatever. I'm gonna play the more recent game, the one that's got more development, cooler stuff, you know all that. Um, Obviously, it just makes more sense. Uh, so I'm hoping, selfishly, that it's not coming out anytime soon. That it's coming out maybe 2022. Late 2022, so I can get to a thousand episodes in KF2, just to, to feel good about myself. However, um, whenever it comes out, we're going to be switching over to it. We don't know. We have we have no context for when it could be. Like I said, it could be next year, it could be two years from now, three years from now. We don't know. Uh, all we know is that the developers currently consider KF2 to be at the end of its life cycle, and they do plan on making a KF3. If you kind of tie both of those together, chances are pretty high that it's coming out soon. So I would expect an announcement um, probably in January or February-ish uh, to talk about a KF3 release probably in, like, June... That's my that's my estimate, which is uh, is unfortunate because it means that I won't be getting to a thousand episode in KF2. I'll get to it in KF3, but it's like you know that's like six hundred, or at that point probably like seven hundred thirty, seven hundred and fifty-ish, somewhere around there. Um, episodes that I'll have made and uploaded and all that, which is like a lot of episodes, but it's not the four digits, you know. Just kind of stinks. Just kind of stinks, but. It is really exciting to have a new version of the game coming out eventually. You know, to have that confirmation, even if uh, it was fully expected that there would be a KF3 before. Um, I've kind of known that KF2 is kind of on the... I, I think I've talked about it even. Um, how, I, how I think it's at the point now where they should really just not even be adding more to the game and just let it die and work on the, uh, the next one. You know, I've, I've kind of already talked about that and it seems like that is what they're doing which is you know expected of uh, uh, you know uh, but it's a little bit it's a little bit upsetting to me personally for for selfish reasons however it is exciting as well at the same time kf3 would be would be really really cool I mean that would be really good for the channel although I don't really care about the growth of this channel uh, at all anymore um, but it would be very, very, very good for the growth of the channel because when uh, when the game grows, so do all the YouTubers and content producers and all that, of course, right? Um, 
I don't know, who knows? Maybe at that point I'm big enough to be considered a, a YouTuber in the KF2, you know, thing. I don't know. Probably not, because again, I don't really care about the growth of this channel, but... Um, where are you? I don't even see the... Aha! I don't really care about the growth of this channel, so I'm not going to be trying to make it famous or anything like that. I get, I get advice all the time from YouTube, or uh, from uh, friends, or viewers, or whatever. And they're like, hey, you should be doing this if you really want to, like, make sure that you're being successful and stuff. And I'm like, I just, you know, I, I appreciate the, the kind thoughts and the caring, you know, advice and stuff. It, it just, it doesn't matter for this channel, you know? Like, I know, I know a billion different things I could be doing to, to grow the channel, like, really, really quickly and, and get a lot of viewers and stuff. It just it doesn't matter to me. I don't want to do those. You know? I mean, at the bottom line is that uh, having fun is more important to me than uh, getting those viewers anyway. So if, if I have to do something that I don't want to do, then it's not really worth doing. Uh, and then on top of that, I just this, this channel just doesn't matter to me. So, But regardless, KF3 is going to be good for the channel, which is, is cool. When I don't have to do anything and just more people end up watching me, that's really, really cool. Be getting a lot of subscribers lately as well, actually, so... I don't know, maybe the, the hype around KF3 is already having some sort of an effect on um, on my channel. More people looking at videos and stuff, I guess, maybe? Um, see ya. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know, like, what what, what, what are they going to be able to add to, to KF3 that KF2 doesn't already have? To make it better. Like, what's what's going to make KF3 stand out as, uh, as a different game than KF2? So we got crossplay, obviously, but that's not enough to, to warrant making a whole new game about. Like, if that's the only reason they're making a new game, then they may as well just do the rewrite for KF2 and just make it work, right? Uh, they're making it... it it's, it's a side effect of having a new game. It's not the reason you make a new game, right? So, uh... What else can they add? I mean, like, new maps, new guns, but new perks, maybe? Maybe we get that martial artist perk? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I genuinely have no idea what you add to uh, to Killing Floor to make it better than it already is. I, I genuinely have no idea. From, from like, a, an, an engine standpoint, you know? Obviously, new guns, new maps, all this kind of stuff is cool. It's great, but that's not really, you know, new models, new textures, all of that kind of stuff. That's all stuff that they can do. They don't need to make a whole new game about it, right? When KF2 came out, it, it, you had all of the gore and the explosions, and you were able to decapitate stuff and, like, chop off arms and legs and stuff. It was all really cool. You know, that was really, really cool, and that was, like, its selling point, right? What's the what's the selling point to KF3? What 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 motivates somebody to, to buy it? What motive what motivates them to make it? I guess. Cause the only thing I can really think of is uh Marketing? Just just to have a new release is, is good for, for sales. I know where he is though, don't worry. You're having having a new game is is good for sales, of course. We're not, we're not alone. But uh, other than that, I, I I really just I can't think of like what motivates them to make a new game instead of just update this one. I don't know. And I don't I don't think they'd make it just for just for the the sales. I don't think they'd make it just as a marketing play. So they got they got to have something. Something you know, some engine improvements. Drastic engine improvements that they're like, yeah, we just we can't really make it work in KF2, and I can't I can't think I really I cannot think of, of what it is. I'm really excited for when um, when it eventually gets announced. Eventually, again, we don't know when it's going to be. We don't we know it's coming. We don't, we don't know when, <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited for when it does get announced because I really want to see the trailer and see like, you know, what what did they end up doing that that's going to make it worth buying. You know, what's what's the selling point? You know, what are, what are the talking points in the in the in the ads? You know, that's what I want to know. 
because you can't really i don't know like they they, they have like christmas models coming up for the zeds and stuff so they can clearly change the, the zed models and textures and all that like that's all clearly changeable just today like not that hard you know so i don't know why uh I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking more destructible stuff. Maybe destructible environments. I know that they have destructible environments, but it has to be, um, either, like, a chair that just gets moved around or something. Um, or, like, a table or something where it just kind of, like, floats, you know? You ever had, like, in uh, Burning Paris, has it in that cafe, a lot of that kind of stuff. Those, uh, stupid, like, umbrella tables and crap that get in your way. Or it has to be something that you have to walk up to and then specifically bash. You can't like shoot through it. So maybe, maybe destructible environments. Maybe uh, like proper objective mode stuff. That could be pretty cool. But the, the, the replayability of KF2 or of Killing Floor in general is with the, the like main game loop. So I don't know what they're going to do about that. I can think of a billion different improvements that would like require making a new game. But nothing that would be enough oh, yeah. for me, you know, sitting in a yeah, uh, tripwire seat, you know, sitting in tripwire seat being like, okay, yeah, these are all great. We have to make a new game to make this happen. I don't know. And I think it's mostly just going to be iterative improvements and, and mostly just a marketing thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, what, what do you guys think would be coming in KF3? You know, what, what, what do you think would be happening in, uh, in KF3? What's their big improvement this time? What's what's what what you know when uh, when KF2 was first announced? You know those trailers were coming out and stuff. Um, oh, I remember that time. That was a glorious time of gloriousness. Um, there were so many, so many people talking about it and being so hyped about seeing the. Um, they had the berserker with the katana and it was like swinging around and they had it. Uh, you know, so your movement was affecting the swing of the blade and. Be able to slice off like arms and legs and stuff, and it was oh, it was it was some sick marketing. Um, what what gets people hyped up this time, in your opinion? What's what what's it gonna be? You know, you have to you have to develop a cool new feature. What what do you what do you do? You know, something that can't just be done with a mod with like a, a simple update to KF2. Some something that has that that necessitates and like proper engine working. You know. I think I think the main reason though is 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 it's just uh, you know what it might be, you know what it might be, it could be that they want to develop something that's easier to develop. Let's get you restocked. You know, something that's more extensible and turn KF3 into more of a uh, games as a service kind of thing. I could see that. I could see that. Because that's kind of the future of gaming. You know, everybody has subscriptions and game passes, and you got uh, all all this kind of stuff, right? KF3 could could kind of go down that route. I could see that. They want something that's easier to expand on and uh, develop as time goes on. Uh, something that's going to be continuing to bring in uh, uh, income, you know, revenue for for a longer life cycle. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that. I could see that. Because KF2 can't really be running as a games as a service. They're clearly trying to run KF2 as a games as a service thing, and it's not working. Oh, that's going to be so much drama, though, when it eventually hits, if that's what they're doing. But they're, they're clearly trying to do that with KF2, so I don't know why they wouldn't do that with KF3. KF3 might be free to play. How crazy would that be? KF3 is free to play. You have a subscription. Man, what if, what if, what if, hold, hear, hear me out, we're going, we're going full conspiracy theorist on this one, okay? And if I'm right, I'm totally posting this to, to like, r slash called it or whatever. Um, so KF3 could be free to play, but you only get, like, commando, sharpshooter, field medic, or something, uh, initially, and you have to pay, a for, like, the, the game pass or something like that, uh, to get the rest of the perks. 
And then, uh, like, different characters are unlocked through DLCs and stuff. Oh, it could be... It, there could be so much drama. There could be so much drama. I, I, I think KF3 is going to be is going to be games as a service, though. I don't know if it's going to be free-to-play. I could see that happening. I could totally see them doing free-to-play with uh, a couple of perks that are free. And then uh, you have to pay for, like, a Game Pass or, like, a, a $60, $70 or something like that. Um, like, permanent Game Pass for, like, lifetime kind of thing, you know? Um, but most people would probably just end up buying, like, a, a $10 a month kind of subscription to it to have it. Would it be an always online thing, then? Is KF3 going to be an always online garbage thing? Aww. KF KF3's release could go so poorly, dude. Cause, cause, yeah, again, they're they're clearly trying to turn KF2, or or have been running KF2 even, not even trying to turn it into, but have been running KF2 as a games as a service kind of uh, thing with with all of the DLCs that are coming out like regularly, right? So you have all of this recurring income that they get, all of this recurring re revenue that they get from from the DLCs. Uh, so so clearly their their idea of a sustainable model is is keeping income coming for 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 the fu for the foreseeable future um so kf3 my my expectation is that it will be games as a service i just i don't know how they're going to implement the uh the recurring revenue stream maybe they sell servers or something like that i don't know i do not know See it going a million different ways, though. But I fully, fully expect it to be some kind of games as a service. So we're gonna have DLC and KF3, absolutely. Um, I think they're gonna try to fix up some of the bad, like negativity that has uh, popped up because of. It's cool that they're like actually in there, though. Hey, okay? I think they're gonna try to pick up, like, clean up some of the negativity that's come from. Uh, the DLC guns in KF2, so they're gonna make initially a post about how like you know no DLC guns and stuff, and people are gonna be like, well you did it in KF2, you said this in KF2 as well, um, and they're gonna be like, yeah, but like we really needed money to work on KF3, and uh, then they're gonna end up coming out with uh, with DLC guns eventually in the future probably, um, maybe we won't get crates, but just straight up buyable cosmetics. Or maybe they'll really capitalize on the crates. Not sure. I shall exterminate you. Probably DLC maps. Insane would that be? How insane would that be? There's something here. Just I don't know. I don't know. There, I, there, there's a bunch of different ways KF3 can go. With uh. I don't think any of them are necessarily wrong. Personally, I'm going to be buying KF3 if they have a stupid game pass or something like that. Like, I'm buying it. It's, you know, whatever. Um, but I can see a million ways that the KF3 release goes terribly and uh, causes, like, an enormous amount of... Oh, I wanted to I wanted to knock, I wanted to knock him off. My goal is to knock him off. Okay? So we're going to knock him off if we can here, okay? So we want you to come down here, and then we're going to knock you right off, maybe? Nah, it didn't work. Well, whatever. We almost had it. We almost had it. See, so, I don't know. I don't know. It's exciting, knowing about KF3, that it's coming, anyway. It's really cool. We have confirmation of its existence, that it will eventually happen. Which is, is, yeah, amazing. It's sweet. It's amazing. Um, kind of already knew that it would be coming eventually. There's no way they're just going to end the Killing Floor series at KF2. Who would do that? You know, just, like, not go to, like, the third version of a game. Like, just leave it at 2. Like, why would you do that? That would be insane, right? You know? Like, it would be so crazy. Who would do that? Nobody, right? Um, Valve. Uh, <laughs> but it's cool having it. I, just, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I really... I, I'm... I'm... I'm excited to see the release of it. I'm excited to see the release of the announcement. 
eventually when it comes it, it could be again like a year from now who knows we don't know we only know that it's coming we have no context for when just that it will happen which is is not really new news um because they've been updating it this long you know if they if they abandoned it like two years ago or something like that and, and there just hasn't been any updates to it since i'd i'd buy the argument that there isn't do you see what i mean always i'd buy the argument that um they've abandoned the series and they're working on other things but they've been updating it until now there's no way they're just going to leave it right they're it, it, it they're they're clearly using it as a games as a service thing and, and they're going to continue on on capitalizing on that but i want i want to know what, what 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 the big you know new thing is what what's the new thing in kf3 that's what i want to know i'm excited to, to find out eventually whenever whenever it eventually comes who knows when i i expect it to be fairly soon if, if they're talking about it you know but Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have any of the sales. See you next time when we play Ashwood Asylum. Because that's the only thing that random picks. Bye-bye.